Hey, how's it going everybody? Hope you're all doing well. Hope you're all doing great. And please press on that like button that really helps out with the YouTube algorithm. So hey, if you actually like the video, press on it because it really helps me out. It's one of the simplest ways to support the channel. And subscribe if you want to see more cool videos of that kind. We upload videos more frequently than not. Now, in this video, we're looking at the GT1030. This GPU right now on Amazon is for $100. It's got 2GB of VRAM, maybe GDDR5, some models are GDDR6. It doesn't consume a lot of power, it's under 40 watts of TDP. It's got the latest NVIDIA driver support and it will run AMD FSR technology that will allow it to play games with higher frame rates without a major loss in quality. And it has shadow play which is also a cool feature. So it's a very budget entry level GPU, I believe it was for $70 when it launched, this was the MSRP at the time. So that gives you an idea of how humble this GPU is and it's not meant for like really hardcore gaming. So hey, let's take a dive on who is this GPU for, when to buy a GT1030 and is it worth it or not. The first case scenario in my opinion, if you own an old PC, a pre-built gaming PC, an HP PC, or a PC that doesn't have a decent power supply that you need to revive it and you play some games on it like for example you got an i5 second gen, third gen, even first gen yeah if you got an old PC lying around and you want to play some games on it adding the GT1030 is one of the best options because it doesn't consume power at all and it can run at any pretty much system now the second uh, case scenario, if you don't play these demanding games, you can play casual games like you know Dota 2, League of Legends, Valorant, even Fortnite, Rainbow Six. If you play these games, the esports games or not so demanding games, you're in for the goofiness and playing with your friends, you're not looking for the GPU intensive games. Or at the very least, you want to run the game, you don't have high expectations of how your PC will perform. I guess the GT1030 is a good option for you. Now the third case scenario, if you want a placeholder GPU until the GPU wave kinda goes down, as you know crypto mining has really impacted the PC market and there are some rumors or not rumors you know it's just a time bomb there's that new crypto coin which is called reptorium or something like that this will make a new raid on the processors so processors will be as expensive or more expensive as how gpus are right now so yeah given the state of the market is i guess this is one of your best bets and it's the only cheap thing right now you can get it for under 150 bucks brand new from amazon if also keep in mind if mining crashes gpus will be very cheap i remember at late 2019 when mining uh, took a dive down the orcs for 74 gigabyte model was on ebay for 40 bucks so there is a this very same gpu right now costs around 300 dollars which is crazy and the thing about the gt1030 it's not the best gpu for the price out there it's not the cheapest gpu it's not the best value for money gpu but it's one of the most readily available gpus out there and you're not here for the value for money you're here for the playable experience that you can get out of it, it can run a lot of games it can run forza 5 the brand new one it can run the gta trilogy and there are a lot of benchmark videos out there that i can link down below it can run battlefield 2042 at low settings at really low settings so it it's kind of playable but you can't see a lot out there but talking about value for money what's the best value for money product to get out there right now instead of the gt1030 that's what we're gonna talk about right now first up it's not the obvious choice but the cheaper option you can get a gtx 660 a 660 ti or a gdx 760 you can find that one for under 100 dollars the only caveat is that it's not the best solution for a lot of pre-built old dell optiplex gaming pcs because uh, the dimensions of these gpus are bigger than the gt1030 and it consumes more power so it kind of needs a 6 pin power connector and you might occasionally run into a gpu that needs more than one 6 pin connector so yeah that's the trade-off of getting it for around 70 to 80 bucks the second option is the oryx 460 and I love this GPU, but hey, I got a surprise for you. It goes for $100, sometimes $90, so it's actually cheaper than the GT1030. And you can get it, like, you know, and it gets better performance on a lot of titles. And of course, there is the GDX960. It goes for under $150, bucks, but hey, that's another topic for another day given this is one of the best budget gpus you can get right now uh, it deserves a video for itself now my favorite pick and actually the best pick out there 
the AMD Ryzen 5 5600G. Hey, if you don't own a PC yet and you want a budget PC that will last you for the next year or two until things kinda settle down, I guess the Ryzen 5 5600G is the option for you. It's for 240 bucks, 260 bucks MSRP, but hey, it's Black Friday time, it kinda goes on sale right now. If you decided to divide the APU in terms of the GPU and CPU pricing, it's kind of like 130 bucks on a CPU and another $130 on the GPU. And you're getting better performance, it's actually faster than the GT1030. And more surprisingly, if you decided to pair it with high frequency RAM, and I'm talking about 4000 MHz RAM or that territory, you can get the same performance at the RX 460. And this was mind blowing for me, not just by that. This was the performance of the Ryzen 5 4600G benchmark video I saw online. So the 5600G is only better. So given the info that I'm telling you, if you like don't have an old pc or you just don't want to build a high-end gaming pc and you just want a good budget option i guess the ryzen 5 5600g trumps out anything out there in my opinion if you care for the value for money if you care a lot about how your pc will perform you own a ryzen 5 5600x and you wanna like push it to the limit i guess the gt 1030 isn't the option for you it's a pretty decent gpu that i guess you should know its potential and you know why you're getting it it's really good for casual gaming and you cannot go wrong with it at all but given the competition out there given that hey you actually didn't build a pc yet i guess the ryzen 5600g deserves a look people are gonna use cpus to mine this crypto coin i guess you should get the 5600g asap because then there are dark times will be upon us pretty soon so hey if you like that video please press on that like button if you want to see more videos of that kind subscribe see you in the next one and peace